Here we have the Wii Baby Core XY in all its glory. This is the 200 size. This comes in three sizes and you could even go bigger, but we have 200, 250 and 300. Today we are going to change these guys. We don't have a belt tensioning system, so it's all done manually. We want to change that. Let me show you the new system. Okay guys, so this is what we are working on. The black parts and the pink parts. Let's have a look at the part. So it consists of two main bodies, the black ones, and then we have the fork with this M5 by 30. Also the thumb screw with a lock nut. We have the idlers. These are the gates idlers or the mellow ones. I've used the mellow ones and find them good. And also for the bearings on the idlers, we use these shims, the blue ones. Uh, they are precision shims, one millimeter. And the outer diameter is six and a half and inner is five. And also we have this spacer. So let's have a look at the function. So you tighten the belt like this and we have 20 millimeter of travel so let's assemble these guys onto the printer and uh, test it we're going to change these to this one this has a thumb screw which lets you tension and uh, loosen this idler so that we can get an even tension on both belts so we're gonna have one on each side one for the upper belt and one for the lower belt so here's the other one this goes over here. We have tensioning here on the lower idler and on this guy we have the upper idler. First we need to open up for the belt so we can release the belts. We only have to take off the belts on this side. So that's easy. One belt loose. Then we should take off this belt lock. Just helping with a screwdriver under and then just pull it off. This is the top belt lock. Then we can release the bottom belt. Now let's do the corners. Remember that we need to change these two from 10 millimeter to 14. First, put this body in place and take out the tension fork. Root the upper belt through this idler Take the fork, put it inside the tension body, like this. And secure it with the thumb screw, just briefly. And I need some M5 by 12 for these two, which goes inside the first bracket. Manually tighten the upper screw. Then just release it a little bit before you add the lower screw and add this guy. Then go around and re-tighten all the nuts. Be careful so you don't strip anything. Go from side to side. Let's quickly go through the other side and then let's test the tensioning. Start only with two screws first, this one and the top on the other side here. Stack. First we are going to do the upper belt, then bring it over here. And we are going to top idler over here. Release the thumb screw, pull out the fork. First tighten this guy, then do the bottom one. Now we can attach the belts. Just give it a little bit of tension. I think this is good. Upper belt. Make sure your forks are all the way in. The tension forks here. Then I can attach the upper belt lock. I'm just using an M3 to squeeze the belt lock in place. Now we have to find out if our x-axis is perpendicular to the y-axis. So let's place the x-carrier in the center of the x-axis and let's have a look at the distance. Push the x-axis all the way to the rear and measure the distance. We are at 
0.1. So let's measure over here. This only works if the frame is perpendicular. Over here we have 53.26. So we could tighten this guy a little bit more. This is the one tightening the top belt, which will move the x-axis a little bit further to the rear. Still 53.25, so we are at 53.02, we are very close, a little bit too tight, quarter of a turn, so after retensioning, move the x-axis back and forth a little bit, so we are at 53.26 over here, 53.25 over there, so that's perfect. If you are able to check if the angle here is 90 degrees, then do that, that's actually more important than the distance here because the frame might not be perpendicular but if your x-axis is perpendicular to the y-axis then you will be great so i have this 90 degree angle which i'm gonna place on the x-axis measure the distance here and then we can just pull the caliper all the way it's just perfect perfectly perpendicular so just one more thing to do and we are going to play on the belts. I'm gonna go close to the motors. I'm gonna play on the outer part of the belt and you can hear we have similar tension. You can check this also with a, a picture app on your phone. Search for picture and you can check the frequency or the tone of the belt. But this is good. This has been a long waiting upgrade and I'm really happy with the results. The only thing I'm missing now uh, for these parts is actually a bearing shaft. So I want to change these M5 hex bolts with bearing shafts. So yeah, let's print something. We're printing something with the new um, either tensioner for XY belts. We have over here and everything is running smooth. This is a great system and please uh, give me a feedback if you find something that should be changed. If you have something else you would like me to improve or other stuff you uh, want to see me design, I am working on a new direct drive X carrier and extruder combo, a totally uh, redesigned X carrier. So I will come back to that. Make sure to like and subscribe if you would like to see me design more exciting stuff. See you guys soon.